What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Super Metal Sonic. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of a page with the nose. We're gonna start over on the left side of center. Just gonna curl this down and then up. Now from the ends, we're just gonna angle this up and in towards the center point. From the outside of the nose, we're just gonna curl the muzzle going out and then down towards the side. And then from here, it's gonna bend this across and then up towards the cheeks. Let's draw a short line coming down the side. And then we'll round out the bottom of the chin and come down the middle, go across and then back up. Let's add a point on the side of the cheeks. From this point, angle this down and out and then bring that back in towards the side. Let's go to the top of the cheeks. We're going to bend the eye, going out and then up towards the top. And then from the top, we're going to slope the eyes, coming down, and then bend that in towards the center, just up above the nose. Go out and then up towards the right. Let's add a thick bevel along the side. From the tip, we'll step in, curve this around, and then down towards the bottom. And then push the eyes towards the inside. Starting on the top left, we're gonna draw a half oval. We come down, and then bend that back up. Let's go over towards the right side and do the same thing. And I wanna trace the eyes along the inside. And then we'll fill the center of the eyes in black. And I'll switch to a thick black marker and fill the inside of the visor. Just going around the eyes. Now with the eyes in place, let's move up and draw on the ears. From this point, we're gonna step up. I'm just gonna angle this up and then out towards the tip of the ear. Let's line this up on the right, going up and then out towards the same height. Now from the top, we're gonna angle this down and back in. Let's trace the side of the ears along the inside, going up and then back down. We'll close off the inside with a curve. Now from the inside of the ear, draw a short line going up towards the top. Now from the tip, I'm just gonna bend this in and then down. And I add that center point along the top of the head. Let's go all the way up towards the top of our page. So right here, it's gonna start with a point. I'm just gonna angle this down and out towards the left, in behind the ear. On the top, and do the same thing towards the right side. Let's add that detail in the center of the head. From the brow, we're gonna step up, start with a point. Now from here, we're just gonna bend this up and out towards the left, and then the right side. I'm going to go all the way up towards the top, start with another point. I just want to angle this down and out towards the left. And down to right about here. Now along the bottom, we're just going to bend that back out towards that point. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming down at an angle, and we'll bend that out on the end. Let's add two more spikes along the side. Starting up here, I'm going to angle this up and then out. Go to the right side and do the same thing. And then from the top, we're gonna to angle this back down and in, just beside the eyes. Now 
Now we want to add a detail in the center of those spikes. Start from the top, the angle is down, around the ear, then back out, angle that down in behind the ear. Let's go back up to the top and draw a straight angle line coming back in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming down an angle, bending that down, angle that back in, and from the top, I'm just going to pull that in behind the ear. Now before we finish off the head, let's move down and draw the center of the body. We start on the left side, angle this down and out, go to the right and do the same thing. Let's close off the bottom with a curve. On the left side, we draw a half circle, coming down and then back up. Let's add a large circle in the center of the body. So we start from the top, go all the way around, back up toward the top, a small circle in the center and we'll fill that in black. Now I want to draw some lines radiating out from the center. So we start from the top, coming down, down along the bottom. Now I'm going to go across from left to right. Let's add one more line in between. Coming in an angle. And now I'm going to add those two large spikes for the shoulders. Let's start from the top of the body, go straight out, and then just bend that up. From the end, I'm going to bend this down and then in towards the side of the body. Let's go back to the hips, draw two straight lines coming down the side of the belt, and we'll close off the bottom with a curve. Let's add two circles inside the belt, one on the left and one on the right. And we'll wrap those spikes around the hips. On the left, come down and back in. Let's add that centerpiece, leaving a gap in the middle, draw two angle lines coming down and out. I'm going to bring that down and in towards the bottom, just want to leave a gap in between. Close off the bottom with a straight line. I want to trace this detail on the inside. Start along the top, and then just working our way down towards the bottom. Now I want to draw the edge of the cloak along the side. I'll start from the top, curves out, and then down. Go to the right and do the same thing. Along the bottom, I just want to bend that back out towards the side. Now I'm going to go back up to the hips and draw the outside. I just want to tape this around and come out towards that point. Let's tuck the legs in underneath the cloak. We're going to start on the left side, and this down and out, go to the right, and do the same thing. Now from the bottom, we're going to draw an oval, coming down and then back up. From the bottom of that oval, we're going to bend the leg, coming in and then down towards the heels. Let's go to the top of the oval, bend this out and then up towards the side of the cloak. And I want to take this line, step out and draw that again, going up underneath. Now we're going to go back down and round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start on the left, bend this down and then up on both sides. And we're going to curl up the toe, bend this around, and then back in. And from the top, we're going to bend that down, and then in towards the bottom of the foot. Now from the inside edge of the toe, draw a straight angle line going up, straight in, angle this down, and then back up towards the inside of the leg. Now I'm going to take that and flip it over on the right, so I'm going to repeat this. Going up at an angle, now I'm going to go straight across, angle this down, and then we'll pull that up. Let's go back up to the top from this point. We curve this down and then in. Draw a straight angle line going back up. Now 
And from this point, we're gonna step up and go down and out on top of the paint. Now I wanna trace these lines along the top. We step up, just tracing those lines with an even space gap. Let's connect these two points of the cloak with the curve. Starting on the left, then it's down and in behind the foot. Curve in between, and then up on the right. And now we're gonna go back up to the top and draw on the arms. Let's start from the inside of the shoulders, angle this down and then out on both sides. Let's flatten off the end with a straight angle line going up. Pull that back up and in underneath the shoulders. Let's add some texture inside the arm with two lines. And from the bottom point of the arm, curve this down and then out. Angle this up and out toward the top of the forearm. And we'll just curve that back up and in toward the outside corner of the arm. Let's separate the cuff with another line. Now you want to tuck the hand in underneath the forearm starting with the thumb. Let's start from this point, curve around and then out. Just taper that back up towards the hand. Now you want to add three claws on either side. Let's start from the left, then it's out and then down. Taper that back up. Let's add the second claw, going out and down, bring that back up. And we'll do that one more time, going out and then down, and just tuck that up underneath. Let's separate the top of each finger and thumb with a curve. And we'll separate each of the fingers again with a curve in the center. And now we're gonna go back up and draw those two spikes coming down the side. Let's start on the left. I'm gonna angle this down and then out to right about there. And we'll pull this back up underneath the head. I'm going to go underneath the shoulder and continue along the top and just line that up on the right side. I'm going to add a small detail along the bottom. From the tip, we step up, go up and in, across the bottom, and close this off with a straight angle line. Now let's do the same thing on the right. Up. And then we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Super Metal Sonic. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. And if you did, please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.